Max Sonar Sensor can continuously update my Arduino program with the range values. Instead of writing serial blocking poles to get the sensor's data, I let the sensor push it to the Arduino. The main benefit is to get notified about events in the environment as they occur. Otherwise, my program may be too late to react to an important condition. It also helps me develop software using event-driven model instead of procedural programming. A small downside is that I need to learn a little more about mapping between Arduino and Atmega hardware. I will also have to write a bit more code initially. Roughly, the mechanism works like this. Maxsonar outputs a pulse width modulation signal that alternates between high and low voltage level. When the level changes, the Atmega chip notifies my Arduino program via an external interrupt. Then the program calculates a time span during which the voltage level is high. This duration can now be converted into a value that represents a distance between the sonar and an object in front of it. To make it work, connect the hardware, set up notification mechanism, write notification handler. First, I hook up the wires through a junction strip. The strip has common ground and 5 volt power coming from Arduino VCC. Since I plan to connect multiple sensors to that strip, I have to be careful not to exceed 200 milliamp limit on VCC. Now, I need to designate a pin on Arduino that will receive PWM signal from the sensor. This pin should be able to support pin change interrupt, PCINT for short. Note that there are two types of external interrupts. Fence interrupt int and pin change interrupt. There are fewer ints than PC ints due to their advanced functionality and more complex hardware. Since I plan to use other components that may require those advanced features, I choose to use PC int to interface with the ultrasonic sensor. There is a fabulous book by Elliot Williams that provides many more details about AVR hardware and programming. The link is below. The diagram at Arduino.cc shows that analog pin 6 maps to PC int 14 on Atmega. As I find out later, while testing the code, the selected pin would not work. While searching the internet, I stumbled upon a discussion about a similar issue. It turns out that not all Atmega pins are mapped to Arduino, which includes PC int 14 also named as PJ5. But notice how and where I went wrong. In the above diagram at Arduino.cc, there are actually two PC in 14 defined. One at my originally selected location, which is PF6, another is at PJ5. The data sheet for TQFP package of Atmega 2560 does not show PCINT14 as a secondary function of pin PF6. A bit more digging in pins Arduino.h for mega board, and I see this comment. So is it a typo in the original diagram? Is this diagram of some older hardware revision? I'm sure someone has an answer. Without investigating further, I decide to use PCINT16 which maps to analog pin 8 on Arduino. Ok, now I need to code the notification mechanism. First, set up analog pin 8 for input. Next, enable interrupt on PC in 16. Next, implement interrupt service routine. Here, the code computes the time duration of the signal being high. In pulse width modulation, it's a duty cycle. Now I only need to convert the duty cycle to a range value and publish it to my ROS network. The code above publishes range value every second, but as seen from oscilloscope trace, ultrasonar signal changes twice in about 50 milliseconds.
So in one second, Arduino receives 20 such notifications, which is PWM frequency. I can use this fact to prevent spurious readings from the sensor by calculating a median value and publishing that instead. I will also modify the code in the future to account for more sensors. Once the code is compiled and uploaded to Arduino, I start three ROS nodes, ROS Core, ROS Serial Relay, and Sensor Value Subscriber. The following output shows range values from the sensor to an object in front of it in centimeter units. All in all, I'm happy with the result and ready to move on to my next task.